Good morning, friends, and, and happy Monday. Um, uh, near the back door of my rectory uh, a few weeks ago, actually probably a month and a half ago, I planted from seed uh, these basil seeds that, as you can see, has uh, begun to blossom into a good size uh, basil plant. Uh, I love it in my pasta. I love it in salads with tomatoes and mozzarella, right? It, it, it's just great. But every time I look at it, I remember how it started, right? Y you know how this works, right? A tiny, tiny little seed and that will blossom into a beautiful plant. And with basil and with, with some other plants, uh, the more I pick off the leaves, the more it grows. And, and certainly by September, uh, this thing will be two feet tall and I'll have, I'll have picked bag after bag of, of, of basil and, and shared it with others as well. The seed can bear an abundant harvest. It was the way Jesus lived, right? Uh, while he was a carpenter, he lived among fishermen and, and uh, farmers. And, and even those who weren't full-time farmers, um, they were farming something because that's how people survived, right? In the days before supermarkets. Little bit of trade, but everyone grew something. And, and so this was an important part of Jesus' life, talking about seeds. And there's many parables and teachings around that. And, and friends, as, as we continue to persevere as people of faith, in these very strange and challenging times. The Lord wants to continue to plant seeds in us. And so for the next week or so, I'd just like to reflect on the Beatitudes. They're the gospel at today's mass. And, and we hear them all the time, and we hear general homilies about the idea that we're called to holiness. But I just wanna take each day and sort of look at a different one. Before we get into any of the specifics and start the first one tomorrow, I, I just begin with this idea that we're called to be blessed. We're called to be holy. And that doesn't just happen. I wish it did. My life would be easier in my own life and the lives of all those I serve. If, if boom, just by saying I want to be holy, it happened. It's many choices. The way I speak to someone, does it help make me holy? The way that I pray and depend on God, does it help me become holy? What I do with my money, does it help me become holy? The articles that I read, do they help me become holy? And what does holy mean? To be set apart right? Sacred, to be set apart, that I'm different than the world. And I've said this many times, friends, we as Christians, we should discuss uh, issues of race differently. We as Christians should approach this COVID virus differently. We as Christians uh, should talk about politics differently. We as Christians should look at the poor differently. The way that Jesus calls us to, and I know there's always going to be some debate and discussion about what that looks like, but if at least it's what's in our mind, not, am I right? Not, does my point win? Does this help me become holy? Does this help me become the person who's going to stand before God one day and hear Jesus say, ah, you, you are blessed by my Father. Friends, here in the Philadelphia area, we are blessed with a gorgeous day. A beautiful, beautiful day. And it's a day that God gives you. And just as he gives us this beautiful day, and sometimes gives us rainy days and snowy days and cold days, we know that too here in Philadelphia. But God is a provider, and he'll provide us with the grace to be holy. He'll provide us companions on the journey, whether it's folks that live around us and worship with us, or our heroes from church history, our elders in the life of the church, those wonderful saints in the scriptures. Be ready. But before we begin the journey, make the decision. I want to be holy. I want to be blessed. I want to be a saint. Let's pray. Lord God, I believe that you are calling me to be a saint because you call all Christians to be saints, to be blessed. Move in my heart, Lord, that this becomes the number one priority. Not my popularity, not my wealth, not that I'm right, not that I'm even on the winning team, but that I be holy. I reject and renounce anything that is not of you, anything that will not help me become holy. And may God bless you today, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lots of people saying what the world needs now is blank, but let's be honest, what the world needs now is for you and me to become saints. Bye-bye. May God bless you, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, in case I didn't do that. Bye-bye.
on your key ring, do you have a key for this door, the screen door? I do. Okay. No, you're fine. I just want to make sure because sometimes it'll be locked in them. Yeah, like this time of year when it's, um, you know, we don't need the air yet. Um, it's just nice to have the door open because if the front and the back are open, it just becomes a nice cross ventilation. Your, your office, not that it's going to matter for you since you're